Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Decked Out. We are jumping in once again and trying to get some more terms and trying to achieve some greatness. We've not been doing too bad recently, but also not too well either. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say we're doing good quite yet, but we'll try. We've got four more runs this episode to see what we can get done. We're sticking on medium difficulty. I felt that worked out pretty nicely last time. Um, and we'll see if we end up getting taken down to the second layer, because that could be where things really start to heat up. Um, see if things become a little more saucy around that time. So we should have in here a new card and stuff. So let me uh, quickly reset these. Stick on medium difficulty here. And we did get an extra term. We got an extra card as well. We also got this. So let's quickly go in here and put our term away and that away. The dungeon is and we can next victim. put that in there. Don't know how valuable that extra card will be, but it's something. Right, are we ready for another run? Let's go. Oh, I, I Honestly, I'm not ready. <laughs> this game is so scary. And I'm not very good at it yet. Uh, but I think I think we are getting better. It's, it's all about trying to manage where these Ravagers sit and how to get around them. I mean, my movement in Minecraft really isn't so good. So that's my main problem, I think. But I think we're finding our way through. We got another level 1 artifact, which... I'm getting a lot of level 1s at the minute. I kind of do want a level 2. But uh, at the same time, level 2 be scary, so... <laughs> I'm not too annoyed by it. Hopefully this time we can have one where our uh, artifact isn't just sat on top of Ravagers, because that's been the case quite a few times now, and it's getting a little old. <laughs> it's making things overly difficult. Sneak. But we will uh, try our best to make our way through. We do have a Ravager right off the bat, which is always fun. We'll, uh, we'll take our regular route here that I like to go for. We'll grab this berry bush here. And we'll keep on moving through this way. This is my favourite route to take. Straight through the icy caves. In through the back of the uh, the sort of fortress or whatever you want to call it. It's not always going to work, but it seems pretty reliable. Unfortunately, there's a Ravenger in here quite a lot of the time. So you've just got to be aware of that. But it gives you some berries really early on, which I really like. I was to sprint around a bit more. And then we can quickly check in here to see if there's a Ravager. I don't think there is this time, which is slightly amazing. Oh, wait. Have we found our treasure already? No. Surely not. No, we have. We have. It's like right here. Whoa. That's only for 13, though. That's not a lot. Not a lot. But we did get our thing already, which it would be nice to secure something early on. But I'd like to get some coins and stuff before we leave, realistically. I mean, sticking around with this thing is not a good idea. Because uh, the hazards start going a bit more and we get the fairies on us eventually. But getting an early victory, even for just 13, would be not bad. Remembers a Ravager near spawn. We don't want to run into him accidentally. Don't know where he is. We got anyone over here? Yes, we do. Okay. Makes things quite a lot more difficult. Aha! That's where you are. Quickly go back this way. I'm going to wait a little bit longer and I'm going to try and go for going through the castle and seeing what loot we can get. The castle normally has a good amount of loot, but we can, we can kind of sprint a lot now because we've... Um, We've got a lot of food on us. I don't mind too much about sprinting a good bit. I think our best route to get some more loot is going to be searching the castle. Obviously, there's, there's a potential chance of a Ravager in here, but we know our way out. Stability. There's a Ravager there. I'm hoping he didn't hear me. There's one down here. Good, good. More berries there. We've got a little bit of gold here, but one gold does nothing for us, unfortunately. One gold does absolutely nothing for us. We need at least four. I'm wondering if there's like little secret bits around here that I'm not finding so far, but 
we'll see. Quickly check in here. So yeah, the, the, the treasure meter's going like up and down. I don't exactly know how the treasure meter works. More Ravager in here, I hear. A little bit more gold in here, that's nice. I do hear a Ravager through there. Loot and scoot. Got loot and scoot, that's good. Ravager there. He does see me as well. Go downstairs. Could be one down here as well, this might be a mistake. There isn't, luckily. There's, oh, there's, some, there's some gold down here. Okay, we got four gold at least now. I'm a little more okay to leave at this point. Let's check up here first, and I think we'll uh, we'll be making our way out of here. I do hear a Ravager over here somewhere, I think. I can't tell exactly where he is. Three extra gold. Lovely. Is he on his way over here? I can hear him, but I can't see him. The thing is, the thing is, I could go this way and be super happy with it, and then get fucking memed on by the door closing behind me. That's two more crowns. There's a ravager. Okay, back this way we go. This this way is always evil because you can stumble on these really easily. Okay, back the way we came. And getting out of here is going to be a little tricky. We've got to go up and around and back through the key door. There's a key up there as well, but... Oops, some more gold there as well. Nine gold doesn't do much for us, but... Eight is good. I'm happy with eight. We should actually quickly just check the other... Uh, the other door around here. I think we're about ready to go now. Nothing here. Bollocks. Are you coming down the stairs? Yes, you are. Good. As long as he comes down the stairs, that's mostly fine. So then we can do this. I'm going to hear my heartbeat going. Oh, they've shut off both of those doors. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. I thought it was much worse than it was. Please don't have this shut off. It's shut off. Fuck me. I don't know how to get round when that's shut, you know. It's what I mean about staying here for a while. It really screws you up. Staying too long is just a bad idea. Hello. Let's try... I, I might die here, because I'm going to have to go across the water, and you know how bad I am at that. I did it, I did it. Oh god, there's a raptor right there. I got these ghosties on me as well. Okay, let's keep it going. I think now we're in the home stretch. If I don't go the wrong way, that is. I can't remember which of the right way is here. Oh my god. Game's so stressful, okay. We unfortunately didn't get any extra spirit, which is annoying. But we did get all the gold, which is nice. We did get a lot of gold. I, I like that quite a bit. That's at least a card for us, or we can buy one turn. I don't know if it's going to be worth just like buying, like, just, just going for a ton of terms and, like, not ever getting any extra cards. It seems like kind of a, a not great way to play, but at the same time, it seems safe. We got 13 that time. Try and buy a rare card here if we can, although 12 is the only one we can afford. And there isn't one for 12. Good. 
Gotta, I don't even know how you get 40. God damn. It must have to be like hard to get those because th these look way too difficult. 16. God damn, one for 12 didn't pop up. Uh, we can buy more common ones, I guess. Um, I could grab a moment of clarity. Grab another moment of clarity here. And we've unfortunately only got five, and the cheapest one is six. <laughs> Didn't really play that right. Oh well. Okay, let's 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 put our thing in here and uh, get some more crowns. Okay, good stuff. A successful run is not bad at all. Hello. Not bad at all. Right. We go again. Straight away. Straight back in. I do like the ambiance of all of this. <laughs> it says resetting at the moment. Do I have to wait for that to finish? Boom and boom. I think we got to stay on... I think basically we're going to do a, a difficulty in episodes. We did easy. We're doing two on medium. And then I think we're going to go to hard for the last two and maybe deadly at the end. We'll see. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. Okay, so we can put that in there. We can grab our crowns here. And put our card in our deck. And we can try once again. I'm, I'm still surprised we haven't had any level 2s yet, but I'm guessing that's hard mode, really. So I think we're going to have to uh, up it to hard mode to see those more often. I do want to go down to the second level at some point, but I know that it is horrible down there. Ooh, God damn. The sound effects down here are crazy. Oh my god, that, that, that happens every now and again. It scares the shit out of me every time it does. So this time we got level 2. There you go. We got a level 2 artifact this time. So this time, things are different. This time we have to find a key first and head to that room at the end. And from there, after that, we can actually go ahead and escape. The problem is the keys spawn a bit randomly. And sometimes it'll be super easy to find a key. Other times it won't be. The vast majority of times... It won't be. So, we could die before we even find a key here. And the second floor is insane, by the way. It's it's very difficult. Yeah, Ravager off the bat isn't isn't my, my best friend. Don't like it when they spawn so early on. But luckily, we have been finding a lot of keys, but I do think they take a bit before they start spawning, so you have to kind of wait a while. Go grab the berries over here as well. There is kind of a freebie. Treasure, treasure Hunter. I believe Treasure Hunter can spawn keys as well, so... Hopefully we find one. There was a ding back behind us. Oh, is that a key there? Nah, it's just a bit of the snow. God damn it. I heard another ding. Got to check this room to see if there's a Ravager in it, because that could make things way more complicated for us if there is. A bit of gold there. So there is currently no key, uh, no Ravager in here, but we don't have a key at the moment, so not super useful for us. I'm sure there'll be a Ravager in here somewhere. Yep, there's one. Oh, there's two. Two Ravagers there is kind of scary. Just looking at the places that I've seen keys commonly spawn. I hear one of them, but I don't know where he is. 
Is he just around this corner? Loot there he is, yeah. Scoot. I got loot and scoot. Okay, so let's, now let's head back this way. And see if anything spawned key wise along this path. A lot of gold has spawned, that's nice. About hunger up. This seems to be where I commonly find keys, but unfortunately, not this time. More berries. Lovely stuff. Oop, there's a key. Okay, so we've actually got a key in the best possible place to get a key. Because now, we literally just come here. We drop that there. And it opens this up for us. So now we can start actually looking for our artifact. But this, this area is insane. And also, every now and again, a Ravager will just spawn at the door. So... Could lead to some shenanigans. Like that. That 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 really peeves me off. I really don't think that should be able to happen. There's, there's nothing we can do about that. That's just stuck there. Now, luckily, there is two entrances into this area. But the other entrance is far, far more hazardous. So, we're going to have to take the other entrance. But I'm not happy about it. Unfortunately, the Ravagers can just spawn there. There's, there's nothing you can do to move them. And if there's one at either door, then you're totally screwed. <laughs> so you see what I mean by it's a bit more difficult? There's lava goddamn everywhere. I'm not particularly good at navigating lava in Minecraft. I never have been known to do so. But forgive me if I fall on it and die. Remember, there's also Ravagers to look out for as well, so... That's going to make things harder on top of everything else. Also, if we're running for them over the lava to get back up there, it's going to be pretty rough. There's a Ravager right there, look. And he sees us. Great. I don't even know if he can get up here. I'm hoping he can't. If he can, we're screwed. Okay, I don't think he can. But it does seem that our treasure's down that way, which spells trouble for us. I don't know what's down there, but probably nothing good for me. There's probably a lot more loot to be found down here as well. The thing is, at the moment, I could jump down here, but I don't know how to get back up. It doesn't look like there's anywhere to climb this. So, if I jump down there and I don't know how to get back up, it's going to be problematic. We did find the key to the next area, which is interesting. Yeah, this Ravager's problematic for us. The thing is as well, if I jump down over here, I don't know if that Ravager can just get to us. I think I'm just going to take the plunge and hope for the best. Ravager over there, I don't think that one saw me though. In the shadow depths where secrets play behind my house, a moonlit bay. I guard, uh, I guard a treasure round and bright, a pumpkin glow in the tranquil night. Interesting. Is that something about a pumpkin? Is it that pumpkin? Right, let me read that again, because I missed two of the pages. Moonlit verse of the Enchantress. Um, another crest moon in the shadow. I don't want to take too long here, so... Let's do duels in the moonlight trance. I honestly, I don't know, and I don't want to stay too long. Can I take the book? I don't think I, I, don't think I should. Ravager right there. There's two right there. Can he get to me? How do I get down there then? 
I don't know how to get down there. This stage confuses me. There's a Ravager, I, like, this is some bullshit, man. My heart's beating like crazy. I think these little imp boys are going to come after me soon. I mean, you know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going to run into another Ravager. Or I'm going to come this way, it's going to be a dead end. It's a dead end. Ooh, lovely. I don't know what to do with this boy. I don't know how to escape him. This is also a dead end. My god, game. What the hell are you? Is that a bat? You may break amethyst that rest on but budding blocks. Okay. You may break amethyst that rest on budding rocks. Why would I want to do that though? Is the amethyst valuable to me? Is he below me? Because if, 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 if he is, I'm fucking screwed. So these amethysts I, I'm allowed to break. Yeah, man, I'm going to need you to go away because I, I literally don't know what to do. I'm completely stuck here, I think. Wait, no, he can make it up here? Fuck that. Don't think so, buddy. <laughs> like, I'm literally screwed. He's, he's managed to make his way up here. Go away. Get out of the water, please. This is my humble abode. Fucking leave it be. Oh my god, man. I'm trying to move in such a way that'll make him piss off, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Nah, I, I, I'm, I'm just dead. This is just suicide for me, I think. Oh, 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 he fell. Nope, he's climbing back up again. Fuck you, dude. There's a chance I can get away. There's a chance I can get away, but it's very low, and I don't want to spoil this run because I'm actually on level two. Game, why do you do this to me? Some of the mechanics of this are a bit, a bit too mean, in my opinion. Oh, he's fallen again. He just knows how to go straight back up it, though. Stop fucking, stop doing that. Oh, oh. Nah, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead, dead. Oh my god, go away. There needs to be, like, a detection system with these guys or something, where if you're not in visual range of them for a certain amount of time, they de-aggro. Because this is insane. Like, let me leave, please. Like, he just keeps doing the same thing, swimming back up and falling. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Let me eat that fish. He didn't even follow me either. Okay, okay. What the hell is this little tea party going on here? This isn't even where the goddamn thing is either. Where's the goddamn treasure? Where is it? The next a lot in here. Honestly, where is it? It says it's like right here, but I don't think it is. Nah. This isn't obvious enough as to where it is. I feel like I'm right on top of it. Maybe it's above me or below me. I, I, I don't know the levels of this area. Hey, Perry.
Isn't there a ravager around here? Oh, for fuck's sake, you guys. That's very frustrating. That didn't feel fair. <laughs> right, can I finally buy some of these goddamn cards? Nope. What, what the- I don't get what the crowns are for. I can't buy these goddamn ethereal cards. Literally, these are the only things I can buy. Okay, anyways. Into another run. That- The second area is insane. I don't know how you're meant to survive that. I honestly don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't- I- I- I'm- I'm not good enough as a, of a Minecraft player to really understand the compass. Like, I know that sounds stupid because it is just an arrow in a direction, but like... I, Like, exploring-wise, I'm finding it really difficult to know where, where the hell it's on about. Like, really, really difficult. <laughs> Dungeon is ready for its next victim. Okay. Another try. Got two more this episode. A bit of a longer episode here. We'll see if we get stage two again. I, I honestly don't think I'm ever going to be a stage two, though. I think it's just too complicated for me. Like, I don't understand where I'm going or anything, so but we'll try it. We'll try our best, but... Level 1 again. I think level 1's the best I'm going to do. I need to at least make sure I get some turns this episode. Keep sprinting on by and get our berries. Take our regular path and then we can start finding our treasure. But yeah, like those, those vexes, obviously they, they come with like how long you've been on the stage. Make it a lot more difficult for us. Looks like we're heading into the castle this time round. I do hear a Ravager really close by though, like right here. Yeah, unfortunately there's one right there. Beautiful. We got a key straight away. Why didn't that happen last time when I needed the key straight away? Would have made things way easier. This time we just go for treasure. Which I think is, like I said, in the castle somewhere. But I will throw this in there just for why not. Ooh, is that it? It kind of... Oh, I'm dead. Maybe not. Maybe I've just juked him a little bit there. Okay, so it's not where I thought it was, which is slightly annoying, but I can get to it easily enough. Loot and scoot. Loot and scoot's nice. Nothing in here. God damn it. Loot and scoot's never been super useful for me. It's always come at a time where there's nothing about... The Ravager down here. I'm just going to fucking go for it while I've got the speed boost. I don't think he can get through there, so that's a reasonable blockade for us. Right. Bit of extra fruit. Lovely, lovely. I think we're just over here near the spikes is going to be where we uh, grab our treasure. No? There you go. We got the death loop again. Okay, that's the same one as last time, isn't it? The coin here. Can we get a little bit more before we leave? Or is that 
asking a bit too much. That might be asking a bit too much of this game. There's areas like this up here, look, where it's like clearly intended for a secret, but nothing's here. I don't know if there's like a shortcut or something that can open up randomly. But I've never seen it open. Is there a Ravager through here? There is a Ravager through here. Back we go this way, I guess. This door's not open yet, so we're okay from that. I can hear stuff spawning inside the castle portion of the map. Unfortunately, that Ravager's down here, so I'm going to have to check out where he is. Yep, he's right there. It's okay, though. We should be able to get past him with relative ease. Aha! Didn't know about him, though. Might be dead here. Okay, luckily this isn't blocked off. If that was blocked off, I would have been dead there. There's another one there. Lovely. Unfortunately, I didn't I didn't find an awful lot here. Didn't find an awful lot. We can keep going. I think we can make it out of here this time. There should be some stuff spawned in here by now, right? No? Okay. Surprised. I like this area because of the ice. It allows you to move around a bit quicker. There's some more of that. Lovely. Still don't know when it's going to be best to buy cards and stuff. We'll see what we end up getting here. There is a Ravager near the spawn, remember, or at least there was, so uh, be wary of that big boy. Not much down here. Might be able to get a little bit over here. A little bit of loot. I hate it when I hear the noises of the, like, walls changing and stuff. There he is. That's pretty bad, actually, because I'm pretty sure he's completely blocking the path. Yeah, he was, but luckily we managed to sneak past him. Right, we're going to have to take a bit of an L on this one and just grab what we can here, which isn't much, unfortunately. Seems to be the case a lot with a lot of these right now that we're, uh, we're winning a few of them, but we're not really gathering all that much from them. We did get four for another crown, though. Four gold for another crown, which is nice. Oh, there you go. We got some extra souls there. That I don't know why, but we did. Okay. Oh, we're going to get 23, I think we're going to have here. And a crown, which isn't bad. Let's see what we can get for that amount. Twenty-three is not bad. Let's wait for this area to populate. See if there's anything we can get. So we can get up to this one here, Frost Embers. Eighteen. I don't know how valuable the block cards are. Add sixty seconds of run speed. Oh god damn! That seems useful. Or I could just buy one of those and the Snow 12 cost card. Yeah, I don't know how good the block cards are. I mean, I guess I'll buy it and see, but... I don't know. The block cards don't seem super useful to me. I never really see these, these bars filling up much. But I guess we'll see. And then we've got... How many left? Three left. Okay, not enough to do anything. I'll come back this way. Get a crown going. And end off our run. Okay, we got one more run this episode. Hello. No, don't do it. <laughs> right. One more run this episode. And for the last two, I'm going to sort of wait to record and watch what other people do. Because <laughs> for all I know, I could be doing absolutely terrible at this. Um... Right, so th this is the one we have to buy at least a term. 
We need to make sure we're getting terms per episode. I'm hoping we can get a few here. Getting 27 spirits again would be lovely. But I'm not sure that's going to happen. We'll see if it takes us down to second level or not. Because if it does, probably not much is going to happen. Okay, another one of those. And more crowns. Another one of those for the box. Lovely. The dungeon is ready for its next God damn it, why do I always do that? Don't hold that in your hand when you're pressing stuff. And through we go. Last one of the episode. Let's try our best to see what we can do here. I'm really hoping we can get something good going on. Um, I, I would like to get a second level one and be able to complete it. But they're just so difficult. So it's kind of like maybe a first level one's better. We just don't earn enough from the first level ones. We need to be earning a lot more per, per run, really. We did get a level 2 one, so we are back on the level 2 grind. We need to conserve our energy as much as possible here, because our hunger was a problem last time. We need to garner as many berries as we possibly can before we go level 2 as well. Let's try not to sprint too much unless we absolutely have to. Boy! Some of the Ravager's positions are just not okay. Would not be allowed to spawn there. Mate, is this two of them or is this the same one? I'm bloody well hoping that's the same one. Looks to be actually, looks to be. And he's going to come after me, so let's go up here. Probably walk from now on. Ember Seekers. There's an ember there. More of the berry goodness. Okay, hopefully we get a key spawn right here. As we did on that other run. That would be absolutely ideal, but... Ideal isn't the way this game works. No key here. Come on, game. Ah, oh, loot and scoot this early? No thank you. There's uh, some embers there, though. Yeah, loot and scoot this early is not great. Ooh, I heard I heard a spawn there. I'm just going to go back and check if that was a key. Nah. Not here, at least. Okay. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> our, ha our hazard has gone up loads, look. Natural loot spawning over there. That's through the wall, besides us. We've not seen any ravagers over here yet. Oh, there's a key, but unfortunately, we don't have an easy way through yet. That isn't blocked off yet, that's good. The Ravager there. If there's one through this door, I'm fucked. Okay, now I'm good. Extra loot there, lovely. I can probably slow down a little bit now that Ravager's gone by. There might be one down here, so I've got to be a little wary of that. Take it slow. Grab more berries where we can. More ember. Lovely stuff. Okay. Luckily there isn't a Ravager in here. There's some gold over there, though. Hopefully, finally, we can go through the, the, the right door here, but... A little bit more gold there as well. Right, let us go through this door and don't have a Ravager sitting right on the door, please. That would be ideal. Okay. Hmm. 
Not as mean this time. No, he's right there again. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. <laughs> you can't just put him right on the goddamn door. <laughs> oh, man. I, I played a few, so like, before I started recording on, on my test runs, I played a few, and that Ravager was never there. Well, no, one, one of the, like, four times he was there. But, like, there was, like, three times where he wasn't. And then this time, literally every time we go here during an episode, he's right there again. Are you kidding me? I didn't fucking touch shit there. Bugger off. Game's racist. Wasted a bunch of my food. Might even die. No, I didn't die good. But I just wasted a ton of my food there. Compass is saying to go through the wall this way. They're burning through my food and fucking lava. God damn it, lava. Ravager, why are you there? No, I need my I need my food. Oh, I still could I'm dead. Once again, boys, I have fucked up heavily. He's not letting up either. I'm fucking dead. Why can't this guy burn on the fucking lava? He's still coming? Fuck off! You're insane, mate. You're insane. Chill out. Right, I'm miles away from where I need to be at the moment. There's a berry bush over there that I'll go and tap. Right, it did say I can break the amethysts over here. I'm wondering if there's any actual reason to do that. I don't know which ones I'm meant to be breaking. It's these, isn't it? Once they're fully, they're fully formed. Sneak. I'm gonna go check again. You may break amethysts that uh, rest on budding blocks. Okay. So that's any of these, no matter what growth level they're at. I don't know why I'd want to do this though. I also don't know what a budding block is, so forgive me for being stupid. This is the thing, is this something I want to be doing? <laughs> I don't know what value I get from this. But I have some amethysts now, I guess. They'll do something for me, maybe, if I survive. Right, compass, please lead me the way. Once again, this doesn't look to be the right way. I'm still confused by what this little this little part is. There's obviously some area up there that I don't know how to get to. And I need to figure out how to get to pretty sharpish. That's where he is, lovely. Don't want to interact with you, big fella. But there'll be more of the ravages over this way, because I haven't been this way yet. But surely there'll be some ravages over here. I 
don't know. I just don't know where to go. <laughs> I have little to no idea. I found a key. Like, I'm, I'm bound to run into a Ravager over here. Well, this is clearly where I need to go. My heartbeat thing's going crazy. But this is what I mean, like, look, my, my hazard level, it's not gone up at all, so I'm still a bit confused. Ooh, wait. We're here, I think. We got it. It's only a death loop. You've... All this work, and I'm still only going to get 13 that I did last time. I thought this was going to be, like, way better for me. Also, I now have literally no idea where I'm going. Why'd that essence just disappear? Or did I pick it up? Oh, what the fuck? The spider's here! Uh, no, 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 no. The poison spiders. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, there's a ravager down here as well. That's. Okay, well, that's that's it for this one. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. It was another decent episode, but I'm not great at this. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.